Sagittarius, how are you? This is your um, autumn equinox reading. I thought I'd do an autumn equinox reading. I've got some new decks, so I'm going to use those. I'm going to pick you one card, uh, one tarot card to give you your overall energy on the autumn equinox. And then I'm also going to pick some oracle cards for you. Um, and I'm going to pick you one card for your person. So let's go into it and see what we get. Um, thanks for subscribing and supporting. Okay, Taro, please show us what is happening for Sagittarius right around the autumn equinox, please. Okay, change. <laughs> it's a time of change, right? Um, and it's going to be positive change with the um, Knight of Wands. Uh, there could be someone quite passionate and sexual there, but I want to focus on the change, really. There's a shift in energy. Um, it may feel quite fiery quite powerful on the autumn equinox but that the what the reason why that energy is happening is because there does need to be an energetic shift here for Sagittarius and so that's what's being brought through um let's have a look at the archangel power tarot cards um I used to have this deck um and then I sort of gave it to a friend <laughs> and now I found another deck it just kind of landed with me so it's quite nice um whether you work with angels or not, it doesn't really matter because it's just an energy. And I think it's a very positive deck, the power deck. Um, OK, there is something better waiting for you. Do what you know is right for you, a spiritual quest. So the autumn equinox, it's a very um, natural time for you to be finding that changes just start to happen. And it really is... Um, knowing how much you love your own self at this point in your life <laughs> and knowing that certain choices or things you've been getting pulled into just aren't loving for you um now spirit is working behind the scenes to ensure that things now change going forwards and that you're not gonna you know that you're gonna basically be doing the right things for yourself um let's have a look at the angel therapy deck Oh my goodness, <laughs> you've got the twin flame card. The answer to your question involves a spiritually based romantic relationship. Um, I do feel there's a spiritual relationship for you. I don't think it's the twin flame as such. I feel it is um, some other connection that's going to be spiritual. Um, but it's strange. It's like... Um, how can I put this? It's like, um, I don't think this person is spiritual, but I think there's a spiritual connection that you can't deny. Does that make sense? Um, let's have a look because it's inversed. Okay. What's your person thinking and feeling, please? We are on hold, but I am coming back for you. Yeah, there's somebody that wants things to change. Um, and, um, you know, that is the energy, really. There's a spiritual connection that can't keep you apart from somebody. Let's see. Um, I don't, that's weird because this, these aren't really love readings, so but this is coming through. Okay, the ever unfolding rose. So this is your spirit guides. They're helping you um, with unfolding, you know, that your life unfolding in a way, not necessarily the way you would pick, but the way spirit feels is right for you. Cracked open, it's happening for you, not to you. Okay, so um, basically... <laughs> God, you know, spirit is the doer. We are not the doers. And as much as our ego would like to take control and plan it and say, well, this is where I'm going now. It doesn't really work like that. Um, everything is energy. Um, I don't think this is a twin flame energy because that card was inversed. Sorry if you want a twin flame back. Uh, book in with me if you need to. <laughs> um, but with the um, card there, it was to do with a spiritually based romantic relationship. Um you know, I feel the person is not necessarily overly spiritual, but they have a connection to you that they can't deny. I feel they are very attracted to you. 
I feel there's a change. Um, I feel there's a change for both of you in wanting, you both want to do the right things for yourselves. And it's something is unfolding in a very natural way. Okay, so that's the message. Um, I feel that um, this is possibly somebody you've had a past life connection with, all right? Um, okay, so that's the message. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for supporting. And if you'd like to book in, do contact me. Peace.